This video shows you how to use Webflow extensions with your Angular project. It assumes that you have converted your Webflow project into Angular format using Freeform.js. Freeform.js, a site dedicated to converting Webflow projects, or more precisely, syncing, synchronizing your Webflow projects with your Angular code. All right. A lot of um, one of the biggest reasons why you're using Webflow is to utilize these really cool animations. You can take a look at this demonstration here. You see an animation done up by the extensions of Webflow. All right, now Webflow does a lot of cool stuff, cool stuff as far as editing is concerned, but the real fancy stuff are these animations that really make your website stand out. All right, now in this particular case, I'm running it from the editor of Webflow and it doesn't activate the Google Maps. In this converted, uh, converted project that's fully converted, the Google Maps activate no problem. All right, now there's a couple of limitations. Number one, during the initial load of the website, of your Angular website, the finished product, the webflow.js file will not execute for some given reason. So uh, we, we're assuming it's because not everything is loaded by the time the Angular code is running, and that's fine. However, we found a much simpler solution to get a, getting around that problem, and it's, we recommend you set up an initial landing page where the website normally goes, and once the Angular code inside that executes, you simply redirect to another component, which will be your home page. All right, now that's the, uh, that's the primary restriction on, on web extensions inside of Angular. Other than that, the current version of Webflow.js uh, conflicts with Angular's management of the form construct inside the HTML page. I say again, the current version of Webflow.js with Webflow extensions enabled uh, will conflict with Angular's management of the form construct. So you can't, right now, at this present time, you can't use Webflow extensions with any pages or any components using uh, the form constructs. You keep that separate, you should be fine, okay? Those, those are the other two limitations that we at Freeform.js have discovered. So let me show you the code required in order to get this to work. First and foremost, under the, um, under the page here, we have the element triggers and the page triggers. That's what really created this uh, animation that you see right here. That's what. That's where. That's all. All that's coming from. And if you want to find out more about that, you simply go to uh, Webflow tutorials, and they'll give you an instructions. They'll give you the, all the instructions you need on, on on what's involved with setting up these event triggers. All right. So, and the other place where Webflow extensions shine are over here in these components, where they can put all kinds of maps and triggers and Facebook and and Google Plus, the whole bit. So. Anything that's considered a Webflow extension requires the Webflow.js file in order to operate, and we at Freeform.js have found out how to utilize the Freeform, the, the Webflow.js file for you. Now, inside your Angular code, what you have to do is put in these constructs inside your code on destroy, you call Webflow destroy, Webflow.ready, and you interface with the Webflow.js file with this uh, with this. TypeScript construct right here. And in this particular case, we're using it both on the home page and on the contact page. Now, in this example, I, where I just said that it won't work on the initial load, when you revisit the home page, the um, web extensions will execute properly. Okay? So that's how you use Webflow extensions with your converted uh, Webflow project in an Angular on the Google Angular platform.